YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video of me installing Windows 98 on actual hardware. That's right, Windows 98, which is insane to think about because um, I got Windows 2000 to work on this same Sony laptop, and um, I tried Windows 8 out and it worked, or 98 out, and it worked. Um, this computer, I don't know if I explained it in the last video. Um, but this laptop came with um, Windows XP when it was first purchased. And then um, I tried to install Windows 7. That worked. And that's as high as it goes. It, does not, it cannot install Windows 8 or Windows 10. Um, so this tutorial is for Windows 98. Since I got Windows 2000 to work, I said, well, let's try Windows 98. We'll keep going backwards. And it worked. I tried Windows 95, and I got the protection error. The Windows protection error, you know, for the uh, hardware acceleration, if you disable that, that'll go away. I can't do that, obviously, since it's on an actual computer. So that did not work. But um, by the way, if it does sound like uh, my voice is different, I am sick yet again. I don't know how long it's been since I've been sick the last time I was in a video. But it seems like sometimes in a video I sound like I'm sick, but this is one of them. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in the disc. And this time it is a bigger disc uh, because it's a DVD RW, not a CDR. And remember that this screen is cracked, so I'm going to turn it on here, close the lid, and hopefully we should get the boot screen to come up on this screen. Well, maybe not come up on here, but. The bootloader should be coming up on here, hopefully. Yep. So, we're going to choose... Um, I don't know if this will get the focus, but... It says... That says boot from hard disk. And that says boot from CD-ROM. We're going to select boot from CD-ROM and hit enter. And I'm not sure if this will work because Windows 98 is installed right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, see this is really hard to do. This one on the top says, um, start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. Second one says, start computer with CD-ROM support. And the bottom one says, start computer without CD-ROM support. So we're gonna start Windows 98 setup. Now it's going to load up into the setup. Okay, so hopefully this is a little bit better. I closed my window blinds. See if that would work, uh, but it looks like it's not going to, but that's okay. Um, so now we're up to the Windows 98 setup screen. It says, welcome to setup. We're going to go ahead and hit enter to continue. We're going to click continue setup and replace your current operating system and hit enter. And now it's going to perform a disk check and a routine check on your system. So now it's going to do Microsoft scan disk with the media descriptor, then file allocation tables, Directory structure, file system, free uh, store space. I can't even remember what it said now. Now up there it says, please wait while setup initializes, and it's going to copy files. And there we go. Of course, it still will not get it. There it is. It says, welcome to Windows 98 setup. Congratulations on choosing Windows 98. And uh, let's go ahead and hit continue. God, I can't click it. There we go. Now this says um, setup is preparing the Windows 98 setup. And now it's going to ask where we want to install it. So we'll just hit next. It's going to check our system for installed components and for available disk space. And you see that the estimated time remaining is 30 minutes. That actually could be accurate um, on an actual PC. Um, I did not, like, actually time to see when this would be done, but I guess, I don't know. Um, this probably won't come up for most get people that would be trying this on actual hardware, but I'm not going to save my previous existing files. We're going to hit next on the No tab, and then we're going to hit next for my location. And now we're going to hit next to copy system files, and now it's down to 24 minutes on the estimated time remaining. So now it's going to do a install. Sorry if it's flashing. I gotta. There we go. Uh, it's going to do the install of Windows 98, and you can see the file copy process. 
on the bottom left here. There we go. Focused. Um, it's already at 6%, so it's moving fairly quickly for an actual hardware cell. We'll go ahead and let this install for you guys. Um, so this could take a little while. And I'll be back with you guys uh, when it's finished. Okay, so it's restarted, and now this has come up since I still have the disk in here, but we're going to go ahead and boot from the hard disk now. And um, there you see it says Windows 98 getting ready to run Windows for the first time. So that is a good sign. And some of this glare is coming from the other screen. I'll turn that off. There we go. And now it's going to keep going through the setup here. There we go. And now it says estimated time remaining 20 minutes. And it's going to install plug and play devices, which can take some time. So we'll let that do its thing. And you see the time is going down rapidly. Um, so I have no idea how long this is going to take. I don't want to like pause the video for like 30 seconds. Well, yep, we're already at the next restart point. So I hit under to restart. This should restart the laptop. Yep, you heard that there. Hopefully, I don't know if it's catching the fan in the background, but it should be. Yeah, that boot screen does not come up here for some reason, but oh well. Now the boot thing will come up again. So technically I could probably take this disc out, but I always leave it in just in case it's trying to install stuff from it. So yet again, we're going to boot from the hard disk, which is the top option. You see a Windows 98 boot screen. And it should be... I don't know if this was the last restart or not, or if it has another one to go yet. I forgot. So I think I should be loading back up into setup here. And if you have not seen this, this is pretty cool. I want to show you um, something new I got last week. I got a new keyboard and mouse layout here. This is a keyboard is a Razer Death Stalker Chroma. And I also got the uh, mouse pad, the Razer Firefly, which is a Chroma product. I also got the Razer uh, Mamba Tournament Edition. Um... So that's pretty neat. And I figured I just wanted to show you that just to, in case you guys were interested. So sometimes it happens where, oops, where the screen does not show up on the thing. I have to open up the laptop in order to see what's going on. And I just clicked something, so hopefully it didn't continue. But. You'll see, I don't know if I showed you the cracks on it or not, but, uh, yep, that is cracked all here and all that good stuff, so I'm actually going to go ahead and reboot this. Let's see what happens. I don't know why it was taking so long, it should have booted back into the setup, but it didn't. So we're going to just reboot. There's the logo. Finally came up, and it should come up with the option. Let's boot from the hard disk. Let's try it again, and we'll just go into normal since I did a hard reset. So now I'll do the boot screen. Now, hopefully, I'll go into setup. Let's we'll see. There we go. So I just needed another restart. Now it's doing more plug and play devices. And uh, time is going down again. And now we're getting to the final parts. Control panel, programs on the start menu, Windows help, MS-DOS program settings, 
tuning up application start and saving configuration. So now it's going to update the system settings, which can take some time. As you can see, estimated time remaining is eight minutes, and that will go down rapidly, hopefully. And you can see the progress bar down there is going. So I'll be back with you guys once we uh, hit the final restart. All right, so I was a little worried there for a second because um, while it was restarting and I missed it, it gave me a blue screen. So I just hit any key to continue. It was shutting down, and it wasn't shutting down. So I held the button to shut it down, and I turned it back on, and it's back into Windows 98. So I have no idea what the heck happened. But there we go. We have Windows 98 installed. This is insane how that worked. And it actually logged me in right away, which is quite insane, actually. So... See everything he pan. It didn't even ask me for the uh, username or anything, which is kind of weird. It did the last time. Um, but there you go. As you can see, registered to everything he pan. This is uh, Windows 98 Second Edition. So there you go, guys. That's how to install, or not how to install. This is me installing. I'm used to saying how to install from VirtualBox and stuff. Um, this is me installing Windows 98 on Virtual. Or gosh. I always say this now because I'm so used to it. This is me installing Windows 98 on actual hardware. So uh, this is basically kind of like a sequel to Windows 2000. I'm hoping to do a lot more of these in the future. Uh, maybe some beta builds and some stuff like that. But um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, like it if this is uh, something you guys enjoy seeing. Um, because it's definitely something I enjoy seeing because I was kind of curious to see if this was going to work the first time I did it or not, and it actually did work, so I was pretty proud of that. Um, and then, um, I'm planning on doing maybe NT 5.0 beta builds if I can get them to work. Um, also planning on doing some others, so, um, so like the video if you guys enjoyed, uh, share it so others can see it, maybe they'll enjoy it as well. Um, we're over 2,000 subs, which is amazing. And this is insane how I've gotten this many subs. Some people may think, oh, wow, it's 2,000 subs. And they may have more than that, or they just may think that's not a lot. But honestly, I honestly never thought I'd get to that point. And a lot of YouTubers say, oh, I'm never going to, I didn't think I was going to get to that point. And they're just saying it to be kind. I'm being 100% dead serious. I did not think I was going to get 2,000 subs at all. I barely thought I was going to get a thousand. Like, okay, when I hit a thousand, I'm like straight shot there. I'm not going to get any more. But I just, I really appreciate it. So, um, all right, now I'm going to end the video for sure. Like the video if you guys enjoyed. Share it. Um, comment your ideas down below for more actual hardware tutorials and videos like that and VirtualBox tutorials and any kind of tutorials. Uh, just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.